kit, 8.7 knots. That's our top speed. We just we just hit our top speed in the first 10 minutes of sailing. This is going to be a good day. beautiful wind. It's like 15 knots directly on the beam of the boat. The sails are full. 8.7 knots is our top speed at the moment and we hit that today and um, yeah we're just having a beautiful sail and we'll be arriving in just like two and a half hours so it's pretty exciting. In this episode, we set our sails for the one and only Percy Islands, and we happened to stumble upon one of the most amazing anchorages here in the Great Barrier Reef. If you're new to our channel, make sure you subscribe to stay up to date on our current ocean craft adventures. We have some pretty amazing content coming your way. I saw this little spot on the chart, and it had a little anchor symbol on the chart, and I was it looked like an incredible spot. So. We sailed all the way over to the Percy Islands. We had an awesome sail. We hit the top speed of like 8.8 .8 knots. We, we were banging it the whole way. And now we're just going to try and scoop into this into this little um, lagoon. They look like a red and a green to me. I'm just um, accelerating a little bit. So I come in with more speed, which equals more control. I've got three markers that I need to dodge around. And um, it's a pretty tight channel. One of the most beautiful anchorages I've ever been in in my entire life. Um, this is a tidal, a tidal anchorage with mangroves completely surrounding us, with just a tiny little entranceway, and I'm just blown away with this anchorage. We are just about to dive under the boat in this like beautiful, clear sand anchorage. I'm so excited because I'm going to go diving all along the mangroves in beautiful water and take some pictures. It's going to be really nice. Ready, babe?
During these extensive times out at sea, we've come to see the importance of trust in the greater picture. And in this episode, we want to focus on the power of believing in yourself and chasing your dreams, as you really never know where the wind will take you. We are beyond grateful that the choices we made led us to these incredible destinations. And the best part of all is that we get to share our experiences with all of you guys. Yeah. Okay, I think when we get so bad here, we should. Now, let's see if we can go in. Yeah, will do. Which way do you want to go? Do you want to climb over there? Come over here. There are massive tides in these areas and the tide drops quickly and the tide is dropping. Um, and we're up here <laughs> in a mangrove hoping that we're not going to get stuck. Like we just ran aground then. <laughs> Shortly after this, I decided to put a stern anchor out and face the bow of the boat towards the entrance. This was in preparation for the boat going dry for the first time ever. Dad just said he saw some waves around the corner that he look, said looks pretty surfable, so we're going to go for a wave <laughs> while Pearl bottoms out for the first time. Oh, she performs for the camera. The waves that Sage and Sam is talking about. Oh, it's pumping! This is going to be long. We weren't exactly sure how well Pearl was going to sit on the dry, but we were pleasantly surprised because of her uh, flat bottom keel that extends from the aft to the bow of the boat. She sat down perfectly and we couldn't be more happy. on the hull represents something greater than just a name. It represents the birth of our project and the new life that this boat is now living under our ownership. The funny thing is about this situation is that when we stepped back to observe 
what we had just painted onto our boat, it looked like a child had painted it and the name of our boat was now Pear. We named the boat Pear. Let's do be living in this life. I try to improvise a little bit of life coming from my mind. I don't want to hold back no more, no more. Don't want to build this. Pearl house. one or pearl? All right. This matrix, but I've been trying to create my own wavelength, own space, man. We in this, we in this together. I know I got the lead of a little bit of steam with these recipes of cooking up disaster. This planet's in a fucking state, and I know we are here to change it. We're here to change this, yeah. yeah, yeah. We had heard about the Percy Islands before and were always intrigued to see what it had to offer. And you'd be surprised, but someone actually has built a building for all of the boaties and anyone who comes to the island to come and gather and share stories. So we felt very intrigued to go and check that out the following day. I want to see you walk on this I'm hot ready. sand. It is literally boiling your feet. I've actually never felt hot as sand before. Holy shit, that's hot. That's Emily's phone. I think you dropped something in the sand. the date that they were here and a little spiel. Spiel. But yeah, it's like a, a shack of memory. This A-frame is free for all seafarers to gather, sing, share stories and enjoy what others before them created. Then we in our turn maintain it for future generations the goodwill is passed along. So, if you tidy up, do repairs, or contribute in some small way, then you can hang your sign with pride. There is no rubbish bin, because the council truck doesn't drive by. Please leave nothing for others to clean up after you. Thanks. Really? It was such a surreal feeling walking over the headland and finding this beautiful little oasis tucked away from the world. Wow. To have this space to use and, and enjoy was such an honour and we are so grateful. We are 60 nautical miles away from land and we were running out of honey. And then we arrived at the Percy Islands and they have honey. Percy Island, famous, delicious, sweet, pure honey for sale. 100% organic. You have to stock up. Look at where we are. It's so bizarre. Just found a little oasis. 
tells such a crazy history as well. We sailed in from uh, Digby Island. That gum nut over there. And we sailed in through here. And we pulled in, pulled down the sails just here. And then that is where Pearl is at the moment in the lagoon. down to Rescue Bay tonight, or um, either Dolphin Bay. You ready to go sailing? Sure am. Woo! Just in case you didn't see those two little subscribe buttons popping up through the video, Hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any future videos and hit the bell icon too if you really want to stay involved in the journey. If you'd like to continue helping us make these videos, please consider becoming a patron. Thanks everyone for watching. Until next time.